Hi, my name is Mark Lindsay. And my name is Costa Cantanis. We are the co-owners and founders of Marine Tech Wire and Cable. Thank you for joining us today on this video tour of our facility. Marine Tech Wire and Cable is a small manufacturing company. We're located in York, Pennsylvania, founded in 2000. Our primary product line is military Navy shipboard cable, but we also make other specialty products, including oil well data logging cable and specialty fluoropolymer products and high temperature lead wire. This is a sample of some of the wire and cable products we produce. The cables with the black jacket are Navy shipboard cables used for control and instrumentation circuits on board Navy ships. The red wire is used for oil well data logging and can extend up to 30,000 feet down an oil well. The TAM braided product is a high temperature product used in applications up to 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Marine Tech has a 35,000 square foot manufacturing facility with extensive manufacturing capabilities including primary extrusion, twisting, shield braiding, taping, cabling, jacket extrusion, and also extensive testing capabilities. What you're viewing here is a taping machine and what we're doing is applying a polymer binder tape over a shield braid to prepare the cable for the next operation. This is a twisting machine where we take insulated single conductors and twist them into a pairs and triads. Here we have two insulated conductors being twisted into a pair and while it's being twisted, the pair is being wrapped with a polymer insulating tape. Many components inside a cable require electronic shielding. What we're viewing here is Marine Tech's shield braiding department where we're actually applying tin copper shield braid to twisted pairs to provide electronic shielding. Shield braiding consists of numerous bobbins applied to the twisted pair in a weave fashion similar to a shoestring. As you can see the machine run, each bobbin contains several strands of very fine tin copper wire. In addition to individual components needing shielding within a cable, Many cables require overall shielding of the entire cable assembly. Here is a larger braider performing the same operation but on a larger scale that we saw earlier on components. One of the processes utilized for insulating wire is taping. Taping is used to provide unique properties to wire unavailable using traditional plastic extrusion techniques. Marine Tech has several high-speed taping machines custom designed and built in-house with state-of-the-art controls to manufacture our unique products. This is a 19 cradle planetary cabling machine. A cabling machine is used to twist together and assemble multiple components into a finished cable core. With multiple passes through the machine, there is a capability to manufacture large component count cables. Marine Tech has produced cables with over 70 individual components. We also have smaller cabling machines used to produce smaller component count cables. These machines provide cabling capability at a higher rate of speed and throughput than a planetary cabler. Marine Tech has the in-house capability and expertise to design and construct its own custom production equipment. We have mechanical and electrical engineering capability and a strong maintenance staff which allows us to do this. This is an example of our newest machine built in-house. It is a 24-inch faux twister cabling machine used to cable up to four components. We have the ability to design equipment with the latest state-of-the-art electronic controls. Plastic extrusion is a common process used to insulate electrical wire. Marine Tech purchases copper conductor and plastic polymers in pellet form. An extruder takes the plastic pellets and uses a screw within a heated barrel to melt and mix the plastic, and then uses tooling to form the molten plastic around the copper conductor. Today we're insulating 26 gauge wire. As you can see, the wire is traveling at a high rate of speed, and it's exiting the extruder after the molten polymer is formed around the conductor. 26 gauge has an overall diameter of 19 thousandths of an inch. So as you can see, it's very tiny wire. The last operation in the production process is to apply the outer protective coating. 
Here we are extruding the cable jacket over the cable core assembly. We have extensive testing capability. These tests include high voltage tests, cable aging tests, electronic tests including capacitance, impedance and EMI, physical testing of polymers, and analytical tests including smoke generation and toxicity tests, as well as several flame tests. What we're viewing now is a horizontal flame test of a cable while it is energized. This test subjects the cable to a continuous flame for three hours and is used to verify that the cable continues to perform and will not short circuit under burning conditions. Marine Tech Wire and Cable is celebrating its 10th year anniversary this year. Thank you for joining us on a tour of our production facilities. Mm-hmm.